Hey, Hattie, you there? I'm Deacon. Yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think that he's doing so well. I, I don't know. I guess I'm really worried about him. Yeah, me too. He stopped by, he said. I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. You do that, Deacon. I need a lot to go. Infirmary out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down. I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. But not as many listen as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out. And folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers. You danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, we're all paying the price. Are we gonna starve? I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Game is getting scarce. Can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this much. We're not turning on each other. No, sir. We'll never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Goddamn truth or bullshit. You know, last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves to the teeth, came in, and killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, if you're gonna tell parables, Cope, just get them right. Hey, open it up. He's okay. What's up? Nothing. Deke, long time. Hey, uh, I gotta ask you. I heard you riding in last night with Ricky, and uh, who's that guy? Boozer. Or his name is William or Bell. Uh, I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't. I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he's gonna be fine as soon as he's patched up. We're riding north. You got that? So just. Drop it, okay? Yep, that's nice. Good one. Okay, then. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Good to see you, Deke. Hey, Buzz. What else can I get you? That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. <laughs> Your bike's looking good now. Yeah, good part, that one. Yeah, that'll last you. What else can I get you? That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. <laughs> Your bike's looking good now. Yeah, good part, that one. And that'll last you. What else can I get you? 
That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. <laughs> Your bike's looking good now. Yeah, good part, that one. Yeah, that'll last you. Look out. Mm, what else can I get you? Got fuel, if you need it. Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. There, good as new. See you around. I used to be a cop. Farewell. I think we had it pretty good. Okay, that's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they No, were... goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, just, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives, and Mike, I'll get hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days, huh? Jim, hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work? I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Don't you knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing their black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know the freaks come out at night. Okay, oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Told that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. 
I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out, fix that transformer. <laughs> that hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk then. Deacon out. Thought you were gonna be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. Because why wouldn't you bring their ship back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. And Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. Fucking newts. God, I hate those little suckers. We finally agree on something. Right on target. Door's locked. Can you force it open? Nah, it's jammed with something from the inside. Newts? No idea. Gotta find another way in. Get in there. Hey, over here. I think I can boost you onto this roof. Ready? Yep. Up you go! Got it. I think that's all of them. You okay? Yeah. Thanks for asking. Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flares. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Schizo! I found a box of flares. Yeah, yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Where is it over here? Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, hand them over. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got them. Let's head in. Right by you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough.
Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot, we'll bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Looks like they boarded it up. Well, this doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honors. There's a reason they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, doesn't seem so bad. Shit, now! Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You're dropping flares. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. Time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. You ever resort to that? Few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me yeah. either. Stand back. I'm not leaving it for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. You gotta take a closer look. Alright, where? Gotcha. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here.
coffin. It's empty. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not believe me? Sure. I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Yeah, maybe I got turned around. Well, now, wait a minute, goddammit. Th this is the main tunnel. What? It's the it's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But but these are my flares, damn it. How did it Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Guess who put that thing away? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels would be clear this time. No. What the hell? Look out! You can't get a shot! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where are you going? It's got the keys, we gotta catch it! Well, hey! God damn it, Skizzo, it's getting away!
Looks like the last of them. So much for the tunnels being clear. I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw rocks what at him? What you supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need saving. <laughs> Are we ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. So, you bros off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tats off. There's the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? Had a drifter coming. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols, sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't wanna be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. Bingo. Let me see. Ah, nice. This ought to make the old man happy. It's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same as me. I got this. God. Thanks. <clears throat> he thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know. I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike, he's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, so you don't know that. Hold on. Hey, come on. Never thought I'd be so glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. There's someone out there. Hey, Biden. Someone's inside. Hey, what the Biden hell? out there. Move. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Find him. What the Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious, I admit it. They're a little jumpy out here, you know? All right, uh, split up. Come on out and we'll surround them. I'll settle them down. Got it. Watch your back. Come on, mister. Yeah, don't, don't you no worry harm. about me. This is all just a misunderstanding. It is. We're looking for you to, like, join up with us. You can use the help. What do you say? Hey, Drifter. I like your style. You got what it takes to survive out here. Why don't you, uh, lower your weapons? Come out and chat for a bit. <laughs> See if we can't reach. Hey, sister. I thought you just wanted to talk. Well, I guess that's all I gotta say. I saw someone out there. Yeah, I thought I saw someone. I saw someone! <laughs> Something's here. Whew. Okay. 
I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. yeah. Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. You figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you and I. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Skizo? Uh, my point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me, if Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But... A lot of people know what you've done for your friend. How you've been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hey, hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, that's bullshit, because Ricky would never go for well, She's as soft as the old Mike man. And Mike trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Oh, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back, that's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. if you want to swing by. Booze man? Thank you, brother. Uh, I'll be by. Yeah, schizo, I'll think about that. Jesus, why would Iron Mike ever trust that asshole, let alone make him head of security? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon St. John to Iron Mike. Deke, you and Schizo, you find them? The explosives? Yeah, Mike, uh, we got them. Schizo's on his way back with everything that we found. Listen, Mike, I gotta tell you. That's great. That's great! Now, we can't use them till we find some dead cord. You know that, right? <laughs> so, uh, what, what were you saying? That's great. That's great! Now, we can't use them till we find some dead cord. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's, um... Jesus, what now? You boys try and shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh... He wants to run the camp, Mike. He told me him... Oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist and I'm gonna get us all killed. I know he's been talking. Mike! Deke! Like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but it... <sighs> it... It's not like we don't got ours. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Mike, out. Uh, Jesus, all right. You're right, Iron Mike. You always... <laughs> uh, Jesus, all right. Your way, Iron Mike. You always do. 
Oh, another one of those micro recorders. Yeah, I wonder what happened here. We lost the signal tracking Who's adolescent there? infected subject 031. Uh, where the hell am I? I got to spend the Oh, yes, uh, the lucky lad mine. Oh, Jesus. Designated site 27. Yeah, yeah, too many numbers, even for me. Cross-reference Dr. Okay. Anderson's uh, files you on the morphology of adolescent subjects 024 through 672. You start to see a pattern. Not all subjects are classified as yeah. having hot or kecta luck. The growing percentage are being no. reclassified as spelunka tectors or cave dwellers. Or in this He's case, not. fine dwellers. He's looking into it. It takes time. As the subjects Just enter puberty, they itself. become more sensitive to light. It is probably accurate. But I suspect possible social changes in the subgroups as well as... What the hell? One of them just attacked me. Deke? Uh, hey, no. we got a job for you. It didn't bite me. Ricky. My GPS hey, um... Look, okay. My GPS yeah, I'll check tracker. in. Deke and out. This, uh, this is unprecedented. Uh, new behavior. Uh, I've never seen anything like this in the The CIA was accused of dealing cocaine in Central America. Used it to help them control the masses. Get the Fed's sticky fingers on a slice of the global pie. And once they figured out how well that shit worked, well, they decided to set their sights here at home. Make drug addicts of us good old American taxpayers. They brought cocaine up from South America by the plate load. Barrels of the stuff got us hooked on it. Complacent. Kept us high. Kept us under the heel of their rich boots. And oh, did they get profit from our misery? The feds made millions to fund their secret. Operations. All while destroying the very heart and soul of this good country. But thankfully, at last, all that is in the past. At least. My people. Stay sober, people. Stay alive. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, you ever lose an arm, Cope? Maybe when you do, you'll find yourself wanting a bottle of whiskey. Or two. Or three. And in the meantime, shut the hell up! 